Hi there, Richard Pearce here from Build a Joomla website with my top 10 new features for Joomla 2.5. Just a quick word for those who are unfamiliar with our videos. Our audience is mostly comprised of website owners or website developers who are new to Joomla, so I tend to keep things pretty simple. As such, I'm not going to cover all the new features of Joomla 2.5, but instead I'm covering the top 10 features that I think will interest the majority of Joomla administrators. Probably the only major thing that I'm going to skip that might interest some of you is that this version supports Microsoft SQL Server, with more database platforms being supported in future versions. Also note that although I do demonstrate some features, this is not intended to be a detailed tutorial. If you're new to Joomla, please watch our free course called The Basics, which you can find at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com. If you're running version 1.7, you can upgrade using the Update feature in Administrator. Make sure you take a backup of your site first and know how to use it if things go wrong. Then in Administrator, go to Extensions, Extension Manager, Update, and click the Find Updates button towards the top right. Tick the checkbox and click Update. Joomla will download the relevant files and upgrade your installation. Then go to the front end of your site and thoroughly test everything to ensure that the upgrade hasn't caused any problems. You may wish to put your site into offline mode during this process. If you're starting from scratch with a new install, you'll find the process is the same, but there are a couple of new features. Firstly, on the pre-installation check page, there is a new check for native zip support. I'll quickly fly through to the main configuration page. Under advanced settings, there is an option to put the site into offline mode. So as soon as the installation is complete, no one can see the front end. I'm going to go ahead and complete the installation with the sample data. Now, talking of the offline page, this feature has been improved because the Joomla logo no longer displays by default. In fact, no image is displayed, which is rather good as I found customers didn't like it, and although this could easily be changed, it was one more hassle. But if you do wish to include a logo on this page, this can be added in global configuration. Just click the Select button next to Offline Image and choose an image from Media Manager or upload a new one. Uh, now let's see, well this one looks interesting. And now the logo is displayed when you place the site in offline mode. OK, I'll set the site back on. and return to the main administration control panel. There are now two new icons to tell you if any updates are available for Joomla and or an extension. Clicking on either of these takes you to the Extension Manager Update page, where you can directly install an update. It's interesting that the version number is not displayed at the bottom as it has in past versions. You can still find this displayed at Site system information. And speaking of versions, I probably should mention that this is indeed version 2.5. The previous version was 1.7. There is no version 1.8, no version 2.0. Yep, the Joomla powers that be decided to begin a new numbering system that sees all major releases like this one end in 0.5. This indicates the most mature version in this series, and it will be supported for a long time, 18 months. The next version will be version 3.0. 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24
Whatever you make of this, it is confusing, but at the end of the day, it doesn't affect your website. Providing a search function on a website is easy, but doing search well is hard. Joomla 2.5 introduces a superior search feature called Smart Search. You get to it by going to Components, Smart Search. Start by indexing your content by clicking the Index button. This process can take a long time, perhaps some hours on a large site. When complete, the pages are listed and you can hide certain pages from being included in the search results if you wish. Then provide the Smart Search feature by either creating a menu item or, as I'll do in this case, disable the old search module and enable the new one. I'll put it in the same position as before. and assign it to all pages. Now when you start entering a search term, an autocomplete function appears based on the index content. The search term is displayed in the search results. And if you mistype a word, an alternative may be offered. There have been third party extensions that provide similar functionality to Smart Search as well as this next feature, but it is more convenient to have these features in the core. This next one, Capture, stops spam bots from completing forms automatically. You start by registering for a free account at www.google.com forward slash recapture. Enter your domain name where indicated and the service will display both a public and private key. Copy the public key and go to Extensions. Plugin Manager, Recapture. Paste the public key where indicated, then grab the private key and paste it into. Save this and head over to Global Configuration and set default capture to capture recapture. Now if you use a Joomla component that has a form, the standard recapture function is included. Examples include contact forms, and the account registration form. I'm wondering if this next one is one of those features that you think is cool but you never actually end up using. I'd be interested to know if you'd use this so feel free to leave comments below. One problem developers face is teaching their clients how to use their site. Changing text is pretty easy, but adding images to an article is more challenging because they need to be resized and positioned, which isn't as straightforward. The article document type now includes images and links fields. Developers can design templates that take advantage of these fields to ensure that blog posts maintain a consistent look. 
As long as each article just contained a single image, the entry process would be much easier for the client. Let's take a look at an example. Here is a category blog listing. There are two articles displaying the intro text and when you click on a heading or the read more link, the full article is displayed. Edit this article in Administrator. And in the right column, notice that there's a new section called Images and Links. Here you can add an image to the intro text portion of the article. The same option applies for the full article. The links provide an easy way to include link references, which I guess would look best at the end, but as you'll soon see, they're at the beginning in this template. Once again, the positioning of these is determined by the template. Joomla uses various standard text throughout a site, and there might be occasions when you wish to change this. For example, if the author field option is enabled, articles include the line written by, followed by the author's name. If you wanted to change this in the past, you needed to download a text language file, Carefully make the change while maintaining the correct formatting and then upload the file. Or better still, create what's called an override file, which ensures that your changes don't get wiped out by a future Joomla update. This second option is now available right within Administrator and it's harder to mess up the formatting. Just copy the language string you wish to change, such as written by Then go to Extensions, Language Manager. Click on Overrides and click New. In the bottom right, leave Search For set to Value and paste the string into the search box. Search and the results will appear below. Click the one you want 
and then the text appears in the left box. If there are any special values such as this, percentage %s, leave them alone. In my case, I'm going to change this to read author colon. When this is saved, all instances of that text will be replaced by the new text that was entered. This is a small change, but one that many will find helpful. Nested Categories was introduced in Joomla 1.6. In Article Manager, if you selected, say, a top-level category, only the articles in that category were displayed. However, this wasn't always ideal, especially if you had lots of subcategories. You might not remember which exact subcategory to choose to find a particular category. Now when you select a category, All the articles from that category are displayed, as well as all articles from the categories beneath this parent category. Now of course, this potentially creates the opposite problem of displaying too many articles. So a second filter box is provided labelled Select Max Levels. Selecting one limits the display to just the active category. 2 will show the parent plus the first level of subcategories. 3 displays the parent plus subcategories plus sub-subcategories, and so on. Under the Users menu is a new option to create user notes. Just like the core components, you can create categories for notes. Then create a note. Allocate it to a user and assign it to a note category. There is an optional field to specify a follow-up date and a text box. Notes can also be managed from the main user manager page. You can jump to a listing of all notes for a user display the notes in a pop-up window and there is a shortcut to add a new note. This last one is a tiny addition but will be handy for some administrators setting up new sites. Normally when you create a new user in administrator an email is sent to that user with their details. However, there are occasions when you don't want this to happen. You can now disable this feature by going to Extensions, Plugin Manager, and Editing User Joomla. There is now an option to disable the email notification. Well, there you have it, my top 10 new features in Joomla 2.5. Which features will you find the most helpful? Which features should Joomla have included? Tell me below by commenting. For a full list of changes, read the announcement at joomla.org.